today there are many people who want God to bless them and they want God to uh, do great things for them but it's as though they don't want to know that they have to do anything but there is always a responsibility which comes with faith the Bible says that faith without work is dead so you and I need to put some uh, responsibility with our faith you know I was reading um, Genesis chapter 12 when God said to Abraham that he should get out of his country and his king dread and his father's house and he must go to a land which God will show him and God said I will bless you and I will give you all these blessings and you know um, your seed shall be great and the whole family of the earth will be blessed through you now we realize that Abraham didn't just hear the word of the Lord and just go to his uh, temple his father's house and still continue worshiping there and said oh you know the Lord said to me I must get out of my country I must do this I must do that and I'm gonna be blessed and he didn't just keep quoting scripture and, 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 and say that what Abraham did Abraham departed so Abraham obeyed God how many times God speak to us and he's still speaking to us through his words and he tells us that we need to get out of the world, get out of the system of the world, get out of the way that the world uh, desire, pleasure, get out of the, uh, th this world, basically, and, 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 and come to a land that God said, I will show you. And many of us continue in our ways. We still remain in our sins. We still remain in the pleasures of this life. We still love the world and the things of the world. And uh, we're still not crucifying the flesh. We're still not taking up our beds and walk. We still not take up our cross and follow Jesus Christ daily. We still do everything that God said do not do. So we don't obey God. We don't obey Jesus Christ. And we expect to receive the blessing that God says he will give us. I think that's really stupid because if you have a covenant and you made a covenant with a person, you're expecting to keep your part. And if you don't keep your part, then the covenant will not be valid. And so many Christians today, they are mixed up with the world and they, they don't face reality. Reality is, if you do not crucify the flesh and you're still loving the world, you're going to hell. That's the reality. I know so many times the preachers and the teachers who should be the watchman, who should be teaching people the word of God, they are not telling you that. They are telling you that Jesus loves you and all you need to do is to repent, is to, uh, you know, say a prayer. And they call that repentance by saying a prayer and uh, raise your hand and say you are saved and continue to come to the church but they're not telling people that hey you need to understand that you are within you is sin and you are the enemy of God and God hates you he hates the world he hates you God hates you you are not a, a friend of God if you continue in your sin God hates you now uh, the Bible said that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. We need to look at this very carefully because the reason why God loved his enemies is by sending his son into the world to die for them. This is how the love of God is manifest. His love manifests by sending his son into the world to die for the world. So we should not go around and say that, you know, God loved me and God, you know, is caring with me and all of that. Yes, but don't forget how his love is manifest. His love is manifest in his son. The son of God, Jesus Christ, is the whole world see the sun 
A savior. Savior. What does that mean? One who comes to save. He shall save his people from all their sins. He is the savior of the world. And the world has an opportunity to enter through the door of the savior of the world. But the world continues with their own lust and say that God still loves them. How foolish. No wonder why the Bible said my people perish because of lack of knowledge. And I am blaming a lot of these preachers who should spend less time preaching and more time studying their word and repenting and seeking God. They are more damning more people to hell than people to heaven. And I'm saying, guys, get to know your word, the word of God. Get to understand what you're in. Don't read all different books. Just read the Bible and turn your life to the Lord and you know, know that there is a covenant. God called us and he wants us to keep his covenant and to do our part as he will do his part. And if we don't do our part, just remember that God won't do his part and you will end up dying and going to a devil's hell. I hope we will change our lives as we listen to this. Wow, good.